has chosen a very tough opponent, a spoiler type. Number six rank, Peter McIntyre, living in New Orleans, fighting out of Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very, very interesting. He has hard-earned every bout that he's ever won. Let's watch and listen. His name was Matthew Franklin on the day almost three years ago when he challenged for the title and was all champion Marvin Johnson in the early going. But in the eighth round, cut badly over both eyes. Matthew came back to floor the champion. Matthew watched the count from the neutral corner as Marvin struggled bravely to his feet. But the referee said he couldn't continue, and Matthew Franklin was the new WBC champion. He changed his name to Matthew Saad Muhammad and made his first defense against former champion John Conti, who built up an early lead. Again, Matthew was cut badly over the eye. But here in the closing seconds of round 14, Matthew floored County and pulled out a narrow decision. His most incredible comeback came in his fourth defense against veteran Yaki Lopez, who gave Matthew a non-stop pummeling in the eighth round. But Saad Muhammad's phenomenal chin and heart enabled him to survive and battle back in the later rounds. And here in round 14, he floored the challenger three times to retain his title. Not all Matthew's title defenses were wars. He ended his next fight against Lati Mowali with a spectacular right and left. But easy fights were the exception. The pattern generally was for Matthew to fall behind as he did against Jerry Martin, who worked Matthew over in the early rounds. But Matthew staged the seemingly inevitable comeback. Watch for a chopping right hand. Martin was out on his feet and the referee stopped it. And Matthew had done it again. But last December 19th, Matthew Saad Muhammad ran out of miracles. When he tried to rally against Dwight Braxton, he came up empty. And a determined Braxton survived Matthew's comeback attempt. He came on himself and floored the champion. Matthew struggled to his feet and fought on bravely, refusing to quit. The moments later, his corner man stepped into the ring. And the referee stopped it. After a long and courageous reign, Matthew Saad Muhammad was an ex-champion. And now as we look at Matthew live in his dressing room, he is fit for this bout, unlike the last when he lost. Muhammad comes back to Atlantic City for the seventh time, but in a different role. He is the ex-champion, now starting a journey back toward a title shot. He is the number one ranked contender in the WBC, and he chose as his opponent here this afternoon for a scheduled 10-round light heavyweight bout, the number six contender living in New Orleans, fighting out of Los Angeles, a tough customer named Peter McIntyre. We've followed Saad Muhammad for a long time, and he's an interesting young man. In fact, he's had a tough life. He was abandoned at the age of four, so getting to know him a little bit better is always a pleasure. You'll admire him even more. Watch. Regain his title, Matthew trained at Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And these battlegrounds were appropriate surroundings for this fighter whose ring history has been a series of wars. He set up camp here at the Montgomery County Boys Club outside Philadelphia, where he focused his energies on regaining his championship form. His dedication to that goal left him little time off from training with a half-hour trip to his home in Jenkintown, where his wife, Michelle, awaited the birth of their first child. It was a difficult time for them to be separated. And we asked Michelle if she felt cheated by the frequent absences caused by her husband's career. Of course, I miss him when he goes away to camp. But as far as feeling cheated, I wouldn't say I feel cheated because it's not so much the quantity of time spent, more so than the quality of time spent. And I think the quality of the time we spend together is, you know, 100%. It's a mobile supposed to go... The little time they have spent together recently was mainly in the preparation of the new baby's room. Matthew feels strongly about his responsibilities as a father. It's easier for her to watch. The toughest fight of all was last December 19th, when he lost his title to Dwight Braxton. Even under intense pressure, Matthew felt his wife's presence at ringside. You know, I wasn't aware of her voice, but each time I would hold Brax Braxton in clinches, and I would look across the ring, and I would see her, and her <laughs> face would... She was doing things like this, covering, covering her face up, you know. 
Four days after that interview, Matthew may have felt like covering his face up a few times as he assisted in the delivery of Matthew Saad Muhammad Jr. But he didn't faint like he jokingly had predicted he would, and it was an obviously proud father and mother who held their child for the first time an hour after the delivery. Oh, at this fabulous facility, here's a man abandoned at four years of age, leader of a tough gang on the streets of Philadelphia. He has made a comeback in life. Let's see if he can make a comeback in boxing now. In his last fight against Dwight Braxton, he came in about six pounds over the 175-pound limit. He had to shed the weight in a steam rope, skip rope. He was no condition really to go against the now holder of the title, Braxton. And look at this man. Looks mean, doesn't he? Well, don't let that record fool you. 17 wins, 10 losses, a draw with nine knockouts. He has won his last seven in a row, four by knockouts, including a one-round knockout right here in Atlantic City. Peter McIntyre is 28 years old. Saad Muhammad is 27. They have never met before, but as a sparring partner, as Saad Muhammad is introduced, Peter McIntyre gave the former champion all he could handle. This is the big chance for McIntyre, the 5 foot 11 inch light heavyweight, and Tony Perez, one of the best referees, is handling it, so let's see what he says to these two. Well, it's over. Just told him very quickly, protect yourself at all times. The rules under the New Jersey Commission, eight ounce gloves, round by round scoring. In the case of a tie, a five point must, a mandatory eight count. There is no three knockdown rule. Round by round scoring, remember, is Tony Perez now, as three judges look on here. Judging this fight is an on-title bout scheduled for 10. In the white trunks, that is Peter McIntyre. And in the very dark, very black, with gold trim, the former champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Before his conversion to the Muslim religion, you may remember him as Matthew Franklin. And you'll see that McIntyre is not uh, in awe of the former champion, but you will never see Saad Muhammad in better condition. Worked extremely hard because to get that big payday, another big one, which he wants, he's going to have to get a shot at the title, and he must win here today. Must remember, too, that Saad Muhammad on the right often takes as many punches as he lands. He also uh, has been cut quite easily over both eyes, but desire, courage, and heart, no one in any division has more. Ryan McIntyre covering up nicely with those long arms. His reach, 73 and a half. Saad Muhammad with his back to us, 75 and a half. The weight, 174 and three quarters for the ex-champion on the far side, and 176 and a quarter for McIntyre in white. First round, Tony Perez doing his usual fine job, staying away. That was a nice left hook, uh, partially blocked to the body, but it did get through scoring points. No, that was a little one-two. A little left jab, fading with it more, and he missed with the right. Watching the gloves of his opponent is Peter McIntyre in the white trunks. Oh, they're right in, in scoring range, both light heavyweights. It's unusual to see them this close together in the center of the ring. They have not used a heck of a lot of this 18-foot square ring. Schedule for 10. We have about a minute remaining in that first round. We are seeing now that Saad Muhammad is falling back on some of his defensive skills and using that jab, which can be both an offensive weapon and a defensive one. But what he's doing now with that left jab is trying to find an opening. But he's got to watch the left hook of McIntyre. McIntyre now picking up the pace with about 30 seconds remaining in the first round. Beautifully ducking inside a right-hand lead thrown by the ex-champion was McIntyre. Both going now to the jab. It's just a fraction of an inch away from landing all those jabs. We'll hear the bell in five seconds, round one. Two weeks in a row here.
here on ABC's Wide World of Sports, we've had light heavyweight action. Last week, Michael Spinks successfully descended in defending his WBA championship. We covered it, across town. Now we're at Harris. And we have Peter McIntyre with that spotty record, but has won his last seven in a row, four by knockouts. He started back in 1973, laid off for a while. And uh, in about his tenth fight, they threw him in the number two ranked fighter at the time and uh, that halted his career for a little bit but he has come back he is a movie fighter he played the part of Archie Moore in the life of Rocky Marciano he's been in the main event right now he's for serious he wants to win him that upset the former champion we always wonder after so many wars whether a former champion can come back it was a brutal beating that he took by Braxton in his last fight in the and sometimes they never regain the form that got them the title this is round two. Neither fighter marked. There was a good jab right on the bridge of the nose. And another jab, the side of the head, thrown by McIntyre in the white trunks. Both 5'11. Fascinating crowd here. You got a pretty good idea just how stiff McIntyre's jab was. You saw it snap the head of Saad Mohammed back. Using very little of the ring, just standing in the center, ready to slug away and unload the heavy artillery like that, but it missed. McIntyre was able to avoid that right-hand shot, but Saad Muhammad in the black trunks has that right-hand cock. Look at it, right under his chin, just off his chest. Perfect position. There, high on the hat, and it's staggered. McIntyre's in trouble. That right hand that Saad Muhammad has used so successfully in 23 knockouts. Now here in the second round with about a minute to go. Has McIntyre in trouble. It caught him just on the side of the head, and it made him punchy and groggy. But McIntyre's in shape. Still spaghetti legs, rubbery. And that shot, high on the forehead, but they all hurt. Another right hand, and so long, Timber. All right. Four the count goes to the Tony Perez, the referee. Sends Saad Muhammad to a neutral corner. Nine. That's it. With about 30 seconds remaining in round two, and with dramatic suddenness, Saad Muhammad wins his first bout in a comeback try for the title, the former champion. And as we pointed out, he had that right hand cock so beautifully that with his probing jabs, using them more as a feint to open up, believe me, he delivered that first right hand shot to the temple. And those are always stunning. Sometimes even better than catching someone right on the button on the chin. We'd like to remind our local stations that we'll be taking a break in just a few moments. We're in Atlantic City. I'm Chris. All right, we're back again in Atlantic City, and uh, ring announcer Ed Duran has just given the official time of the TKO. At two minutes and 28 seconds of the second round, the winner by a technical knockout is the former WBC light heavyweight champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. In his 38th bout, he had eight title defenses before he ran into Ladies Dwight and Braxton and lost the title. And here you see a replay. And using the rules of boxing, did not hit the wounded fighter when he was turned away. But there that shot to the temple, the side of the head, and it was flush. Beautifully landed. Here is another angle of it as our producer Peter Lasser and director Ralph Abraham show it to you another time. It just hit the nerves and paralyzed Peter McIntyre that we know can take a tremendous punch. Of course, Matthew Saad Muhammad knows how to throw the heavy punches. His 24th early ending in his career of 38. And Matthew, my goodness, you hardly had a warm-up. Well, you know... This fight right here that I just won, it doesn't really please me. I told the people that I had to lose seven pounds. I will get my title back. I promise you this. Uh, but I just want to say, first of all, all praise is due to Allah. I want to thank my trainer, Steve Trace, and all, all the people who have supported me for this fight. Local 30 and all the, uh, all the people from uh, Anchorage, Alaska. And I want to say especially, hello, Michelle for uh, bearing my new son, Matthew Saad Muhammad. Well, I think uh, Michelle and your new son are still in the hospital. Yes, they are. I also want to say hello uh, to all my daughters, too. Listen, I, uh, 
You were concentrating on defense. You looked yes. You looked as good as I've ever seen you in form. And you had that right hand cocked. <laughs> and when you unloaded, it caught him in the side of the head. Yes, it did. Well, Steve Trace is the man who has, who really is responsible for my, uh, for my condition. Uh, I knew I had to bring in a, a very good technique man. He's right with you. Yes, he is. And uh, he basically worked on my uh, defense. You see my defense. The jab is constantly uh, was working inside the ring. I knew Pete McIntyre had to uh, eventually go because, you know, he had his hands dropped down. My uh, trainer, Steve Trace, told me to constantly jab, hook to the body, and you'll find him. Just relax and take your time, and I did. I think your uh, performance here, though, is a testimony to superb condition. <laughs> yes, it is. Absolutely. you got to hand it to this kid. This kid's done three quarters of it. I well, just kept time for it. He's a determined man. Anybody yeah. be thrown out on the street at four years of age. And <laughs> this scar up here, ladies and gentlemen, is not from boxing. No, this he, is a little... He was a tough um, guy at one time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, I was. But um, I really trained hard for this fight. I'm, I know. I'm waiting for the title with Dwight Braxton. That's the fight I want. Don't you I, want to fight really another want. bout or two? I want Dwight Braxton. Right now? I want him right now. I could have won 15 rounds in there. I trained uh, very, very good. And uh, soon as you know, soon as uh, Dwight Braxton and Lighty Mawali uh, wins, I'll take the victory. We believe you that you'll get the title back. Thank Matthew, you very thanks much. Thanks a million. Thank you. Got to go now from Atlantic City. We go back to New York.